Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing really, really well. It is great to have you back here, whether you are new to my channel or a returning subscriber. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Tiger's Eye, a gemstone that not only dazzles with its beautiful kind of warm orangey glow, but also has a really rich history and powerful metaphysical properties. So we're gonna look into how it is formed deep within the earth, its intriguing history and lore, powerful healing properties, and of course, its connection to the chakras. So let's get into it. Tiger's Eye is a fascinating gemstone that undergoes a really unique formation process. Here is the step-by-step -step explanation of how Tiger's Eye is formed. Tiger's Eye begins its formation with the mineral crocodilite, also known as blue asbestos. Blue asbestos is a kind of fibrous blue material and over an extended period, these fibers undergo a process known as pseudomorphism. Pseudomorphism basically refers to the replacement of one mineral by another whilst it is retaining its original shape. The crocodilite fibers are gradually replaced by quartz, and this replacement process is facilitated by the infiltration of silica-rich fluids into the existing crocodilite structure. The replacement of crocodilites by quartz then contributes to the unique kind of optical phenomenon that you can see that is known as the cat's eye effect within tiger's eye. So this effect is characterized by a band of basically reflected light that moves across the surface of the stone as it is viewed from different angles. The transformation typically occurs in a metamorphic rock environment. Metamorphism involves high pressure, high temperatures, and the presence of various different minerals as well. In the case of tiger's eye, the metamorphic conditions contribute to the alteration of crocodilite into quartz. Iron oxide impurities may be present during the replacement process, giving tiger's eye its distinctive golden to kind of brownish coloration. The presence of iron oxide also contributes to the stone's overall aesthetic appeal. The end of this complex process is the formation of tiger's eye, a gemstone characterized by its kind of silky luster, warm, almost autumnal hues, I would say. So to summarize, tiger's eye is formed through the replacement of crocodilite or fibers by quartz in a metamorphic rock environment. The unique combination of pseudomorphism, the tiger's eye effect, and the presence of iron oxide impurities results in the creation of this beautiful gem. Tiger's eye has a rich history and lore that spans across lots of different cultures and civilizations. So to start off, in ancient Egypt, tiger's eye was highly regarded and associated with divine vision and protection. It was often used in amulets and talismans to ward off the evil eye. Egyptians believed that by wearing tiger's eye, it would bring them a sense of clarity to their mind. During the Roman Empire, tiger's eye was carried by soldiers in the battle and worn as a protective talisman. It was believed to provide courage, strength, and a keen perception of their surroundings. Roman soldiers thought that tiger's eye could bring them good fortune and safeguard them from harm, which was obviously very important given their occupation. In the Middle Ages, Tiger's Eye continued to be used as a protective amulet again. It was thought to guard against curses and ill wishes. The stone's association with protective qualities made it popular among those seeking spiritual and metaphysical support. In contemporary times, however, Tiger's Eye remains a popular gemstone for things like jewellery and is often used in rings, necklaces, bracelets, etc. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, many people are drawn to Tiger's Eye for its metaphysical properties and its symbolism. Various different cultures have folklore and legends related back to Tiger's Eye. Some stories speak of the stone's origin as the result of the eyes of ancient beasts that fell to the earth. Such legends contribute to the mystique and allure of Tiger's Eye. Throughout history, Tiger's Eye has been revered for its captivating appearance and believed metaphysical properties. In association with things like courage, protection and insight, these things have made it not just a beautiful gemstone, but a symbol of strength and resilience in many different cultures around the world. Tiger's Eye is believed to possess various healing properties, both in metaphysical and spiritual contexts. It's thought to help balance both yin and yang in the body. This is believed to contribute to overall harmony and balance within your own life. This gemstone is also associated with promoting courage and self-confidence. It's believed to provide the strength to overcome challenges and to approach situations with a more positive attitude. Tiger's Eye is said to enhance mental clarity and focus. It may help in making decisions with discernment, reducing indecision and self-doubt. Some practitioners believe that Tiger's Eye has the ability to assist in the manifestation of goals and intentions. 
It is thought to help individuals clarify their visions and bring them into reality. Tiger's eye is associated with the sacral chakra, which is connected to creativity. As such, it is believed to stimulate creativity and help individuals to express themselves more freely. Whereas the more grounding energy of Tiger's eye is said to provide stability, especially during times of change or uncertainty. It is believed to anchor one's energy to the earth, fostering a sense of security. Tiger's eye is thought to be a soothing stone that helps alleviate anxiety and fear. It may encourage a more optimistic outlook and promote a sense of calm as well. The stone is associated with enhancing willpower and determination. It is believed to help individuals stay focused on their goals and persevere in the face of challenges. In crystal healing practices, tiger's eye is sometimes used to support physical healing. It is associated with aiding your digestive system and alleviating comfort related to things like your eyes and your throat. It's important to approach the use of tiger's eye and other gemstones with an open mind and understanding that their effects can be subjective. If you choose to incorporate tiger's eye into your wellness practices, it's a very personal journey and individual experiences are completely different. So what, what works for you may not work for someone else and vice versa, but you know, that's the whole point. You've got to try things out and work with different crystals to see what works best for you. Tiger's eye is primarily associated with two main chakras. First one is the solar plexus chakra, which is located just above the navel and kind of below the rib cage. This chakra is associated with your own personal power, self-confidence and the will to achieve one's goals. Tiger's eye is believed to stimulate and balance the solar plexus chakra, promoting a sense of empowerment, courage and clarity of purpose. In addition to the solar plexus chakra, some practitioners also associate tiger's eye with the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located in the lower abdomen and is linked to creativity, emotions and sexuality. Tiger's eye is thought to stimulate creativity and balance emotional energies, making it relevant to the sacral chakra's attributes. When working with tiger's eye for chakra balancing or energy alignment, individuals can place the stone on or near these chakra points during meditation or energy healing such as Reiki. The idea is that the energy properties of tiger's eye can help activate, balance and align these energy centres, therefore promoting a sense of well-being and harmony. And there you have it, the story of tiger's eye from its formation to its historical significance, healing processes and chakras. I hope you all really, really enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did in the comments below. I would also be really, really grateful if you were to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well for more crystal content. I post every Wednesdays and Saturdays, so you can click the little bell as well to be notified. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay happy and blessed be.